Ever come across the word redoubt? It's a fascinating term, making its way from the dusty pages of history right into our modern lexicon. Today, we're going to delve into its meaning, usage, and importance. Redoubt, pronounced as redoubt, is a term that originated from the military vocabulary, tracing its roots back to the 1600s. Derived from the French redoubt, it's a word that carries the weight of fortifications and strategic defenses. In its literal sense, a redoubt is a small fortress or an enclosed fieldwork. Picture a protective structure, a safe haven in the midst of a battlefield, providing shelter to soldiers from enemy attacks. It could be a massive stone building standing guard at the entrance of a bay or a hastily constructed barricade in a field. But the essence remains the same, a bastion of safety in the face of danger. But don't pack away this term with your history books just yet. Redoubt has found its place in our everyday language extending beyond military jargon. It has taken on a more figurative meaning, representing any place of safety or refuge. Imagine a hilly redoubt where refugees gather, miles from the outskirts of town. It's no longer a physical fortress, but a sanctuary providing comfort and security in troubled times. Or consider the quiet corner of a library, a personal redoubt for a student preparing for exams. It's a word that beautifully captures the human need for security and refuge. So, what is the importance of redoubt? It's a reminder of our historical past, a link to the strategies of warfare and the human instinct for survival. But more than that, it's a term that has evolved, growing beyond its original military connotations to find relevance in our modern lives. It's a testament to the adaptability of language, reflecting our changing needs and circumstances. So there you have it. The word of the day, redoubt, a small fortress safeguarding soldiers or a personal sanctuary offering refuge. Remember it, use it, and appreciate the rich tapestry of language that such words contribute to. And who knows, maybe your next conversation could use a little historical flair.